Hey everybody, this is Larry. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know how you're doing this problem. I'm going to solve it live right about now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, 661, image smooth, uh, smoother. Uh, given a 2D integer matrix M represent the grayscale of an image, you need to design a smoother to make the grayscale of each cell becomes the average grade scale of the eight, remaining, eight surrounding cell in itself. If a cell has less than eight surrounding cells, then use as many as you can. Uh, cool. So this is just uh, a convolution, oh, and it has to round out the four of it, rounding down. Okay, but yeah, it is just a convolution, which usually is n squared. So uh, given that n is well, in this case, uh, oh no, the length is one fifty, so it's n to the fourth as a result, uh, which is fast enough for one fifty, I think. Uh, well, it's not. That's not true. I mean, uh, actually, it's n squared, where n is one the size of a length. Uh, it's n squared times 8, right? So it's not that bad. What am I saying? So yeah, I just put hooks up in the calculator because you just look at the nine adjacent, uh, eight adjacent cells at itself. Um, so the key thing with th this one will be that um, it's just coding, right? Like the, I think the concept is easy to understand. You just have to manually do it. Uh, and this is that is what I'm gonna do. Uh, cool. Oh, okay, let's just do episodes uh, for one and m for column. Well. Uh, hmm. Let's empty away, and then here. Uh, okay, I guess I need to index actually. That's that's the part that was a little bit confusing. Ugh, cannot type. And then now we take off C, and then we do stuff, right? And one thing that we can do. Is just it uh, do a range of it's a uh, that's the exclusive range syntax that I always have a little bit, like it looks ugly to me for certain things, but it is what it is. Um, is it oh, okay? And then. Let's just call it S for sum, and then we can just sum here, and then now we can result the last row, append, the sum, divided by 9, right? Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah, uh, I, I knew that, of course. <laughs> Uh, check your bounds. Like, I think I just got a little too excited. Uh, what's it? Hmm. Mm, okay, at least one. Oh, then it's not nine anymore, right? Uh, okay. Uh, oh, let's let's see how that goes. Now this is such a terrible example case. Maybe I should put in more. At least I should have tried a little bit of example. I think mean, I was just a little bit lazy. Uh, but luckily, or thankfully, I did get it right, even though even if it was a little slow. But uh, but yeah, I mean overall, uh, this is just something to practice. Uh, I think it's a good practice in the sense that it is a good problem, so it is something that's very good for, um, like it, it's a good problem that you see here and time again, uh, and being able to practice speed on how fast you can and how, not even fast. 
in a sense of making your code fast. <coughs> Ooh, excuse, excuse me. Uh, but not fast in terms of uh, making the code fast necessarily, but fast in terms of making, like, being able to write precise and terse code is uh, what you'll be practicing for this problem, and that's something that I recommend in general. Uh, could always make it pretty fast. I think, how long did I end up taking? I mean, I think five, I took five minutes to solve this with uh, with some explanation, so I feel like that's okay. Uh, I, um, yeah, I mean, it's easy, so I don't, I don't know if there's any weird trickiness um, that as long as you test your code, it's okay. The only thing that may be tricky is just keeping it in bounds. Uh, there's no exception, no other if cases, so they're not damn edge cases, other than maybe the like the empty matrix or something like that. But uh, but length is always going to be one, so that should be okay. Um, yeah, overall an okay problem. I don't know, probably too easy for an interview, maybe, but maybe for a phone screen or something like that, where they just want to make sure you're able to code. Uh, but yeah, okay, cool.